A quick look at Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's new legendaries will tell you that they are clearly some kind of dragon, but there is more to the story. Let's take a deep dive into the likely inspirations for these legendaries and speculate what their types and moves might be. Nintendo is still closely guarding any data related to these legendaries, so this is going to be pure speculation. However, we can draw some reasonable conclusions and predictions simply from their official artwork. First up, Coridon. Shun standing on two legs with alternating red, blue, and white coloration appears to have been inspired by the serpent mythology of ancient Central America and Mexico. If this is the case, it would explain why it looks like Coridon has feathers all over its body. Now, with Korai meaning past, it is safe to say this Pokemon will fill the role of an ancient dragon from times past. The most well-known depiction of an ancient feathered serpent would be that of the famous feathered serpent Quetzalcoatl, having Aztec and maybe even Olmec roots. It was known as a god of rain-bringing winds, sun, wisdom, and learning. In a literal sense, Quetzalcoatl means the serpent of precious feathers. Based on this assumption, we could see a variety of unexpected types and movesets associated with this Pokemon. Given that Coridon is depicted standing on two legs, that is only half the story, leading to speculation that it may only be a fighting or fire type due primarily to its red coloration. However, this feathered serpent may have some surprises in store for us. Things like an ability to fly, a focus on wind attacks, a strong potential for psychic ability, as well as an unexpected ability to use water type moves, maybe being enhanced by wind or sun status effects. This serpent is known as a god of wisdom and learning, so we can't rule out a psychic ability either. Next up, Maridon. This legendary is the most serpent or dragon looking of the two, and appears to draw inspiration from the mythology of the Naga, a guardian serpent spirit believed to inhabit the Mekong River in Thailand. Now, with Mirai meaning future, combined with its seemingly pixelated eyes and even possibly jet engines for legs, we can assume this legendary Pokemon will fill the role of a futuristic dragon. Now, despite the futuristic appearance, Maridon does also have ancient inspirations. The Naga have a fierce reputation for scaring locals, protecting their precious river. Not to be confused with the more snake or cobra-like version, equipped with large fangs and often depicted in the lore of India. These Southeast Asian Nagas are more dragon-like in appearance. There is even believed to be a haunted island on the river which the Naga call their home. The Naga release firewalls from the depths to ward off intruders or unfriendly spirits. If Maridon is indeed based on the Southeast Asian Naga, we could see a variety of types and move sets. Given the river-based mythology of the Naga, we are likely going to see Maridon being a water type, but we cannot yet rule out its ability to fly, especially if it indeed does have jet engines, which does seem likely. The scary guardian nature of the Naga could translate into fear-based status effects or psychic attacks for Maridon, and we could even see an ability to learn fire attacks reminiscent of their tendency to shoot fireballs from the river despite being in the water. We may also see an electric-based moveset based on Maridon's yellow and blue coloration and the lightning bolt-shaped tail and head. Both Coridon and Maridon clearly have roots in real-world dragon mythology, which I believe will make them an instant classic pair of legendary Pokemon, which might drive gamers to collect both versions of the game more willingly than with past titles. If Coridon and Maridon turn out to be based on these mythological serpents, it is a safe bet that they will have some of the most interesting and exciting storylines yet, and players might be traveling to some of the most unique and memorable locations ever seen in any Pokemon game. If you'd like to hear more deep dives and predictions, hit the like button and subscribe. This is Retro Renovo. Thanks for listening.